I gotta come clean, y'all. I got a reef tank confession. I have been Triton testing in my tank since 2016, and every single test that I've taken, I've gotten high too. I've been fighting this tin man for years. <laughs> so, my reef always looked good. It didn't really have a problem, but as these tin levels got higher and higher and higher, I started to get more and more STN, and then eventually I got some RTN. This is that story. And I didn't have small levels of tin either. I tested tin as high as 22 micrograms per liter. It took the longest time to try to figure all of this stuff out. Now you may ask yourself, where does tin come from in a reef tank? Well, tin can come from a bunch of different places. First off, the glass when you create new aquariums. It's floated on molten tin, so you can have residual tin from that. Normally goes out within a couple of months. You can have rusty screws or clamps that are metal. It rusts and then that rust drops into the tank and you'll test tin as part of your Triton testing. Brand new PVC, they say, also has tin in it. But once again, as time goes on, the tin should go out within a couple of water changes. Now you could also have rusty magnets. That will also cause tin to show up in a Triton test in your reef. So I had to go in and start digging and trying to figure out why am I getting tin in my reef tank. So here goes the story. In my first Triton test, I took it in August of 2016. When I tested it, it said I had 6.45 micrograms per liter of tin in my reef tank. So I really didn't think too much of it. Maybe it's a fluke. Who knows? I'll do another test and see what's up. So the second test I did was in April of 2017. This test tested zero tin. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm good. It was a fluke. Who knows what could have happened. The third Triton test I did was in September of 2017. This test tested 8.05 micrograms per liter of tin in my reef tank. So I looked online, a lot of people were saying, use Cooper Sorb, that should get the tin out. So that's all I did. I just threw some Cooper Sorb in a bag and I ran that for a couple of months. My next test was December 4th of 2017 and my tin had increased. It went from 8.05 to 8.20 micrograms per liter. So at this point, I wanted to do something. So I looked around my tank. I replaced the MP40 wet sides because they had some kind of rust on, on the tips of them when I completely disassembled them. I replaced the heaters. I did that because when I looked at my heaters, I saw some condensation on the inside of the heater. So I threw the old ones out and bought new heaters. I also replaced the pump on my skimmer. That's the third thing I did. The reason I replaced that skimmer pump is when I looked at the skimmer, I saw that the pump had gotten frayed and it looks like water could have the possibility to get inside the electrical component. So I went ahead and I replaced that skimmer pump. I also replaced all of the magnets in my tank. Any of the scrapers and the floats, I replaced all of those magnets. Now, I also used Triton Detox and I also, once again, put more Cooper Sorb in a media bag in my sump to see if that did any help. Now my fifth Triton test, I took in April 2018. That turned out to be 14.0 micrograms per liter. I'm thinking to myself, what is really going on with this tank? 14, really? So this is where I started doing large water changes. If you look back in my channel, you can see that I started to do large changes because I started to lose some corals. So after those large water changes, I wanted to see if Triton was giving me the right value. So I sent out for another ICP test. This was icpanalysis.com. I did those tests in May. I tested not only the salt water in my reef, I also tested the fresh salt water that I was making in my barrels. Both came back with 10. I had 0.02 parts per million in the reef 
and I had 0.04 parts per million in the salt water mixing containers. I did two more ICP analysis tests because I bought a pack of them in May and June and once again they came back 0.04 and 0.02. So now I'm really starting to question what's going on here. I posted on Reef to Reef about the ICP analysis tests that I got from there and a lot of people on Reef to Reef said I should stick with the Triton that there are some things going on with the icpanalysis.com test and that maybe I shouldn't trust them. So I decided to trust what I was reading on Reef to Reef and I went back to the regular Triton test. In the meantime, I replaced the RODI membrane, I replaced all of my water barrels, I removed my solenoid from my RODI unit and I also replaced my Cooper Sorb and I also added Metasorb to the mix to see if I can reduce this tin in my tank because at this time the tin man <laughs> is kicking my butt. So after that my next Triton test came in June of 2018. Now this was the highest I have ever measured tin in my tank. It was 22 micrograms per liter and I'm like what? Really? What can really be causing these kind of levels of tin in my tank? The tin man is beating my butt now. I'm thinking I have other problems in my tank. My, my tank's still looking all right, but I always think the system could be better. So I'm looking around my tank. I've replaced everything at this point. I've replaced heaters. I've replaced pumps. I've replaced wet sides. I've replaced magnets. I've replaced so much stuff that I'm starting to lose track of what I've done in this tank. I'm like, what's going on? So finally I looked around and I had one of those metal shop lights running in my system under my sump. So I can see whenever I go in the stand, I can see what I'm doing. It's just a light basically. I took the light completely out of the tank. So I have no light under my sump right now because at this point I can't trust anything. I also found that I had a little bit of rust on my door hinges in my stand. So maybe this is it. So I go back and I do my seventh Triton test. After doing seven tests from 2016 to past mid 2018, I finally get the test result I want, which is zero on a Triton test for 10. I finally defeated the Tin Man and it was either one, the light, the shop light that comes from your big box hardware stores, or more than likely because I found the rust on the hinges, it was the door hinges on my stand, which is just a regular marine land stand. Nothing special about it. I didn't put the hinges on myself, but when I took them off, I realized they were covered in rust. Anyway, now that I've got my zero test, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna do a few more tests to make sure tin doesn't come back, and that was truly the cause of my fight with the tin man, but that's what's been happening with my reef, guys, and that's my reef tank confession. So if any of this information has helped you out, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. If you are not a member of the channel, if you're not a subscriber, you're not part of the movement, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever I release a new video. And once again, thank you for viewing the channel. Happy reefing, YouTube.